YouTube, we're back here with another episode of solo gameplay for you guys. We're going to be on the Karakuri, the studying the origins of Karakuri. And we're just going to go ahead and just jump in there and try to finish it out. Jump in the scenario. Get three little non Karakuri cards. Some spiders? Okay. How many of y'all remember? This was Dub K Dad, one of his favorite decks. So I know about the OG synchros and stuff. Studying the origins of the Karakuri. Have you heard of a tome called Karakuri Autonomy? That's the D draw one. So the inner workings of the Karakuri, how did they come to be? All one good one of the Karakuri is contained in this tome. Let us unravel the mysteries of the tome and delve into the deep world of Karakuri. Engineers set out to develop devices that are capable of wielding great power. Crucial to devices were golden gears located in a faraway country. The feudal lord granted the engineers wishes to successfully acquire the golden gears, and thus the mysterious devices of untold power were forged. After several years, after several years, Karakuri, equipped with the golden gears, completed the workmanship. Karakuri was unrivaled. Their handiwork was impressive to all who beheld it. Locations into the Karakuri Castle, cornerstone of armor and defense, they were now prepared for battle. Under the command of Karakuri Shogun MBL00 Beret, the Karakuri soldiers went into a long into battle. The hardest deck to write any of the names for was Karakuri's. After so many battles, what a blessing that an era of calm had been ushered in. The era of war had come to an end, now we'll have to Store next for the character. Time to synchro shook and some warriors is what I'm seeing. Got our three character spiders. Time to jump in some practice, get some some orbs. I remember it. Look at the koi fish. He summons the MDL 8. 1 8. We draw for turn. I remember that one. And the level 4 one. I don't know what that spell card does though. Yeah, this one gives it an extra normal summon. I remember that. And it's a tuner. God, these names are impossible, man. Now we're gonna make a beret, okay. Let me read this card. Activate by targeting one character. Oh, so it's a special zone equipped with this card. One turn. Okay, cool. Special summon beret. Level three tuner. Level four non tuner. Synchro shogun. Beret attack mode. It's effective special summon Nana Shit. The biggest character. Alright, 
now we're gonna summon the the green one. Telling me how to attack. Attack with the green one because it goes to defense mode. Easy. And now we attack for lethal. And boom. Beret for game. Look at the sand game dance, y'all. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, that wasn't too difficult. Hopefully we don't get sacked. And we can finish this chapter really easy. Remember this deck used to make like nappies, pretty much OTK you. The deck was crazy. All right, see a lot of old and new. We got a recard. What's the field spell do again? When a face of character and monster opponent can you control selects attack target change battles and this card destroyed. From your graveyard and special summon it. Okay, that card's pretty good. Better just go ahead and activate it. Go ahead and activate anatomy because I remember switching positions. I think this guy's when he's summoned. Oh, yeah, when it's normal summon. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and summon it. Use its effect and put him in defense mode. Because it's one counter for anatomy. But I think we can have two. So, yeah, we're just gonna end our turn on that. Be greedy for the next one. Ah, he has a field spell too. Uh oh. Wow, well, gains 400 attack. Alright, cool. Luckily, it goes to defense mode, so it doesn't matter. Cash in. I don't know too much about that card, but I know that this card. It's a Guaiba. Ah, that's right. I almost forgot what it did. Luckily for us, that guy's gonna go to defense mode. When a face of character creating monster control selects an opponent's face of monster attack, you can change the target's battle position. Oh, it's just gonna go to defense either way. It's just weird having a mirror match. But, yes. We're gonna do this anyway, just to guarantee it going to defense. Now we can use Quick's effect, summon this, summon it here, we're gonna summon defense, use this effect to switch it to attack, so we can get in more damage, and we're gonna draw two. Put on main phase two. This card has two counters now, so we're gonna draw two. An iron call. Pretty lit. Go ahead and summon a beret to get free cards out, you know? Oh, yes. 
some bread. Use its effects, summon out one of our guys. Summon this guy in defense. Could make the level 8 guy, right? Oh yeah, we can draw cards, so let's, let's just go ahead and do that. Summon a level 3 tuner. Might as well draw some cards. Special summon beret. Oh yeah, so many all these old character cards, old memories. Some Burrito. Use his effect. Summon a character. Some a big old one. Summon an attack mode. Then we use Beret's effect. Switch this to defense mode, and then we draw a card. Three cards. Cool. Alright, we'll just end, end our turn with that. We've got a bunch of big monsters for next turns. As a hyper, what's this card do? Target character, monster, and one effect monster will control its chains, establish and, and negate that guy's effects. Cool. So I should just change that guy's effects. Negates the effect. Unlucky. We'll get the draw card though. Nope, don't need to do anything. Drawing quick was kind of nice. Can only activate one of these once we're turned, but that's okay. Then we switch this guy to attack and we get a draw card. And then we gain 500. Oh yeah, we're sacking this guy. Nope, no need to do anything. Boost and draw. Oh yeah, we're just obliterating this guy. Battle phase. Nope, don't need to activate that. Use Quick's effect. Summon another Quick. Two K to the face. Twenty six to the face. And game. Boom.
Easy win. Cool, cool, cool. Now we get to go ahead and collect our Shin Kuro. Go ahead to our goal. Finish the little storyline. So in times of peace, what became of the Karakuri? Delving yet again into the Tome of Anatomy, next we'll examine how the Karakuri lived. Since Beret had become ruler, many years had passed around Karakuri Castle, there was unparalleled prosperity on the high roads. Not only Karakuri, but townsfolk such as zealous merchants were common sights. Merchants peddled gamma oil and gold dust on the street wares that were much medicine for the Karakuri. They were in high demand and for the merchants they proved most profitable. The fortress in which Karakuri live is long unchanged gears that keep it functioning work as well in the water wheels by the river. Karakuri live a peaceful life though there is one thing they fear. That thing is fire. They are all made out of wood. Of course they are scared of fire. When a fire starts in town, even if it is in an area of great concern, the Karakuri can help each other extinguish it because Karakuri live by E lending each other a hand. That looks pretty funny. The Karakuri exists to this day, that much can be known from how many books that remain. As the story continues to unravel, new discoveries await around every corner. Boom! Sweet. We got 150 orbs. Earth orbs. Awesome. And we got a new card pack, Traditions of Trickery. Not go to that. Which one does this require? It's gonna require Earth Orbs to do. Awesome. Alright. So now we're just gonna go ahead and just finish off the Karakuri chapter. Unlocking this. Trying to sack our opponents. Gonna get a little mate, a Shinkuro. Let's go ahead and get in here and get sacked. Using these guys as loner decks is pretty funny. They're just no synergy whatsoever. It feels like they just throw the decks together. Sometimes they kind of work. Sometimes they don't work. Decks are thrown together, and you have to figure it the hell out. Oh my lord. Alright, what's this one do? I'm not familiar with this one. Well, it's a level 5, so I can't get on the board. It's level 5. Gotta can't get it on the board. We play this just in case it's a mirror match. Gotta kind of activate both. Hope it's a mirror match. Because we bricked. Very badly. What an amazing turn, y'all. You see this? It's been a track in character. I have three level five monsters in my hand. Hopefully that's a character you flip so we can start drawing some cards. Oh yeah, let's go. The koi fish jump. What am I saying, Andy? Activate cash cash. Oh, we got four counters on this thing. Let's go, baby. I just noticed that card doesn't say once per turn. We get to draw all the cards. Did we just get OTK? What just happened? Jesus Christ. What in the world, Baribo? Well, I know what that does. This card, I don't know. Oh, he banished that? What in the world? I don't think we're living this turn, y'all. Kara Curry, kind of nice. Oh my Lord Jesus! That is. Monster Reborn! What? 
Oh, I call hacks. This guy is shit on me. And this is why I feel sometimes when they give you the archetype, like, look at this, Infinite Track and Paracurry. Come on now. I didn't even have a monster I could sub it. Like, come on, what do I do with this? Oh my god. Oh, we had no chance. Straight up OTK by this guy. But just proof, y'all. Ooh, lose this game real quick. When they give you these bad loader decks. Oh my gosh. These are harder than ranked, I'm sure. Just sacky, boy. Alright. Well, we lost that game. <laughs> God. That was a murdering. Alright, well, just go back in there, I guess. That was just as bad as the Gem Knights and the... The Ritual deck. Oh my gosh, they come out of nowhere and just kill you. Well, I've gotten OTK'd a couple times from these guys. Doesn't feel good. Just wait till I go to the shop and buy real cards. I will come back and pull and I'll hurt you guys. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, wait, look. I got playable cards. Okay, I don't know what infinite tracks do. Hey, look, my opponent brick. Or they want me to think they brick. Alright, I have a lot of infinite track stuff. What does this do? Normal summon, add infinite track. Um, normal summons or special summon, you can special summon one earth from your hand. Pretty cool. Okay, well, how about this? Add a Karakuri card. We just be simple. We can add any Karakuri card, so let's see. Cash, cash. We can go grab that, search anything, or we can just set this up just to get some draw power. Yeah, my hand isn't good enough, so we're just gonna swing. Tribute Earth Monster special summon this card from your hand to face up. Banish one. Machine from your graveyard. Add one spin turn. Okay, I think that's just for extender. So we're just gonna go battle phase. Swing for 500. See how I didn't combo like at all. Last turn. That guy just literally bodied me. Oh, this guy doesn't go to defense. Oh, it has to be, uh. That's right, I forgot. It has to be attack. Hopefully he breaks some more. Let's go! See how he gets punished, y'all? He, he drew God five cards last game. What the hell? I didn't get to see all of his cards. Alright, what's this drag shuffle? Does this do anything with this? Okay, I seriously don't know what most of those infinite track cards do. Stick with the character and then force to do stuff later with character with figure it out. We're just gonna keep swinging with these monsters. I mean, I have to attack, but I was gonna attack anyway. I'm gonna simply beat this guy with Kara Curry Normal Summon beat down. Oh, he finally set a card. That's probably something bad. Okay, that's good. So now we can get combos going. So we switch this defense for one counter. Summon this dude. Switch. Let's switch his monsters and see what it is. Hopefully it's a character. Okay, it is not. But we can make a level 7. Oh, we can make a 9 too. So when characters, all right. So let's try to do something with these extenders. Tribute to Earth. It'll be level five. So then we make it eight. So let's try this. 
to this earth guy. Summon these into the track things. We have one counter on that, so now we're gonna make a level 8. Use these guys as synchro material. Summon Beret. Feel like he's doing stuff now. Uses effects, special summon. Go ahead and summon. What's this guy do again? Is he a tuner? No, he's only a tuner when you special summon like that. Okay. I was wondering how that guy synchro last turn and killed me. This guy's a tuner. Make a level five. Think it's on this dude. It's actually not as good as it could have been. We'll just summon this guy. We we'll just go ahead and draw a card. See what happens. Nope, we just have more boozy and then attract cards. Why can't I do anything with those cards? i will attack with the green guy first. Oh, he yeah, has Scrap Storm. That's okay. I know what scraps do. That's a replay. Still gonna be game. Unless he has another card. Oh, payback. Didn't do anything as flashy as he did. He finally bricked. Redemption. Oh my gosh, this character Curry, dude, OTK me, then he didn't do anything to me the next game. Alright, one more for the character Curry episode. We got the character. Now we just gotta beat the harder one. Now this one I expect to get OTK'd a couple times. <laughs> Characters are nice when you're playing with them and not getting OTK by them. Let's hopefully hope it's not Infinite Track again. Oh, it's Ninja character. That's at least a little cooler. I have a Hanzo. Oh, let's go. I can use Hanzo. Now, this is a cool. A little bit more cool interaction than whatever happened last time. Get the field spell. This is gonna be the better one. This is what I'm used to getting, but I don't know what the play is targets. Only one way to find out what your targets are. Play and find out. He always be drawing that big ass dude. Cool, I hope he synchros and then we can send that big ass dude to the grave. Oh, that guy is huge. 3,000 attack. He gets a special summon a guy. Alright, this is okay. We're not gonna do anything to this battle phase. Alright, cool. This is where we use this card. Send my ninja. And send this big dude. And if we summon something big enough, he has to attack it. Can that be... Oh, this is 3,000. This guy is freaking huge. Let's do this guy. And then he has to take 900 in the face because a character is have to attack him. Asian. 
That just works out for me. Is that another Sazank? What the heck? And then when this card is like this, this when this card is flipped face up. Okay, this card's pretty cool, but do we just ninja him? Ah, uh, YOLO. We just summon Sazank. We have three freaking Sazanks. Go battle phase. And in phase two, activate this cash cash. Go ahead and get this level three. Send one ninja monster and one ninja jitsu art from your hand and or face over field target up to two. Seems like a good idea. It's just up to. Do we just do it? We just do it. What does this card do right now? Oh, these are ninja. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, that was a misplay. <laughs> I didn't read that card very well. Oh, shit. He would have never moved with that. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're not punished. Let's go. Search a spell trap. We can get this guy. We're gonna have two reborns. Let's go. Oh, I banished that ninja guy, so it's not as good as I thought it was. Oof. Uh-oh. Might have misplayed. I don't have a level 3 tuner. No! Oh, we kind of whiffed. What do we have in our extra deck? Oh, we already did whiff that. Gosh, I'm bad at this game. I mean, we're in a decent position, but we're not. But I do have to reborn because my dudes have to attack. Get to summon his boomerang. Swing. Oh, oops. I forgot to attack with a small guy. Oh, misplaying all day. Oof. I have to attack. Oh, man. Punting against game mechanics because I didn't read the card. Oh, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Have to attack with characters. Pretty sure I could have ended the duel, but we misplayed. <laughs> Sometimes character cards too strong. Let's not get punished. Uh oh, we got punished. He lit though. Get. Oh my god. Well, luckily Lithogasm is not that big compared to this Beretta. Let me just 
battle phase. Attack. Hope to God that this thing dies. Oh, no, we're just taking a lot of damage. Oof. Have to attack. I might kill myself because I have to attack these stupid little buggers. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. He's out of cards. Wow, did I get dusted? Cool. Yolo. Ah, uh, jokes on you. Duel with the cool Sazank play, y'all. <laughs> I never what Sazank does. It just sends a card when it's flipped. Old school. I had three of those. That's crazy. Let's just go ahead and end the duel. No more misplaying. Just swing for the fences. All right. Because we're bad at Yu-Gi-Oh, we didn't kill him a couple turns earlier. Jesus. Cool. We got a level 6 with that. And we got the Karakuri Baribo icon. Pretty dope looking. And that is going to complete the Karakuri episode. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. We're signing out with that. Peace.